The slight issue. I'll have to reroll till I get the balls. I have so many balls traveling around me at light speed, cutting my enemies into pieces. And setting them afire with friction. Don't forget that. Don't forget the friction. It's physics, science, amazing. Because I want the balls. I kind of want this too. Reroll. Balls. Ah, thanks to the meta progression, now I have four at the very start. Two from the staff and two my own. Oh, have they? Hello. Projectile size. Now this is very important. Oh, I am very slow though. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video to not miss out on more. Also, electricity is getting expensive, so please. Average. I, I don't want this. Bye. Blood pressure. More damage, less health. And since I start with double health, might as well just get this. Yeah, that actually makes sense. And perfection. What? Much more attack speed, much more damage. Now this is an amazing start. Accumulation, projectile size, damage, but less attack speed. What is going on? I mean, obviously it is a heroic card. I absolutely have to take it. Because you see, if you have the card, you have a high chance of finding it again. Unless it's one of one. Unless you can only find it once. Um, 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 my balls. Yes, enlarge the balls. And um, projectile size increased. Hello. What is this? And less attack speed. I don't like where this is going. At some stage you'll have attack speed so low that I won't have any balls on the screen and, and that's just not nice. Hmm. On the other hand, I can actually counteract the lack of attack speed with projectile lifetime upgrade. Oh, fire spirit. Actually, this is quite interesting. This is quite interesting because, you see, enemies will be constantly hit by the balls and they will accumulate an enormous amount of stacks. If you ever, if you ever got very powerful by the end of the playthrough of Rogue Genesia, you may have noticed your weapon take out chunks out of the final boss health. You see, with burn, what happens? You may, your weapon may not do a whole lot of damage, but the burn. You take the boss a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but then the burn happens. You keep hitting the boss, and then the burn happens. You keep hitting the boss, 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 and then the burn happens, and then it happens, and it happens, and it happens. For half of the boss's health. Big damage. I applaud big damage. I enjoy to inflict big damage. My name is big damage. I mean, my son's name is big damage. He is bullied at school. Okay. But that's the price I'm willing to, I'm willing to pay. Actually, I may rethink, I may actually need to think where I'm going with this. Because... I don't actually. I haven't actually looked what's in front on the map, and that's not a good idea. That's in fact a very bad idea. Actually, enlarge my balls. That was a good idea. Now, one thing that I didn't do, I didn't take the second level in well, Thunderstaff, and I regret that. I regret that a lot. Ooh, katana. I don't need big damage. Yes, I definitely need to crank my attack speed. Definitely. Okay, since I am slow, I kind of need to take the dash. That's a given and get the last meal, and yeah, that's just the end of the round. And get this. Now, I can get... Oh, hello. What's this? What's this? Three chests in a row with the leads. Oh, the game is absolutely treating me well. And I appreciate that. Thank you, game. Now give me something good out of these chests. Yeah, that was good. And what do I want here? I don't want to slow my enemies, I want to kill them. Actually, tower upgrade will drastically improve my health. And that is quite good. Considering not having health is what killed me previously. You surely won't, I surely wouldn't want to repeat that mistake. That won't be nice. Seven dash charges is a lot of charges. But can I get more? Yes, I can. I can get nine if I find a relic. And you see, I will have three relics to pick. Um, actually, to just take the three. But they're random, and I only hope for one relic. In fact, I only hope for three relics. My the source. The, the die, which gives me... The die, which gives me... Gives me what? A reroll every time I get the card. And plus two levels of cards when you get it the first time. Those three are absolutely amazing. In fact, those three are the best relics. I think those are the best relics. But I cannot verify. Oh, I have so much base damage. I, see, I literally cannot wait until I get enough multiplier to just one-shot everything. And also, I can't wait to get more attack speed, because this is slow. And um, more crits, yes. This is way too slow. 
How do I even plan to kill the elites? I, I, I guess I just plan to avoid them at this stage. On the other hand, if I just go into an elite fight, eventually the elite will run out of enemies to hide behind. And then you can finish it. Ah, that's how I'm gonna do it. Got it. Science. Strategy. Everything is calculated. Everything is planned. Nothing is missed. No, no, no. Less attack speed. This will kill me. How about I don't take that ever again? Okay, I'm not gonna take that ever again until I find more attack speed. Actually, defense. I kinda need the defense too. And my first relic. Let's just see. Remove time requirement from almost eight. Ah, I'm not sure I like it. A void spirit, I do like void spirit. But my defense? But void spirit? Actually, just take it. Just take the void spirit. Now, here, I obviously want the relic, so this away. I mean, obviously, this is how you show directions. It's this away, this away, or that away, or this other way. I mean, my balls are too slow, and I don't have an immediate fix, and I am dissatisfied. And so are my enemies. I'm actually just crank the defense. If I become a mega turtle, a mega tank, I don't care how hard I hit my enemies. They will eventually die, and I won't. More attack speed, less damage. I think I'll have to make sacrifices. In the end, the overall DP DPS with this card is actually increasing. Because you have plus a third attack speed, but minus a fifth damage. Yes. Overall, it is better. It is a very good trade. So now, my balls will appear much faster, and they already do. You can actually feel it. You can see it on the screen. I feel the difference. It's so much better. Oh, Magnet, hello. But I'm still very slow, which is unfortunate. Actually, I'm just gonna take a reroll. Ooh. Less attack speed, though. Again. No. I just got plus, plus 33%. I don't think I want to lose that. Uh, reroll, last one. Enlarge my, my projectile. Yes. If I just keep enlarging my projectile, eventually it won't matter how far the enemy is. How small they are, the, the projectile will just be too large. It'll hit everything anyway. And also, the obvious problem that I'm experiencing right now is that, you see, I only have four of them, and that's simply not enough. I need more balls. I lost the money. Oh, hello there. Double the additional projectiles. At the cost of all the attack speed that I have. Ah. Now, this is interesting. You see, this is an amazing card. But, I don't have all the, the projectiles that I can get to benefit from, which is very unfortunate, actually. This will not increase my DPS, and this actually will put me in danger. What I need to take right now is the projectile lifetime. This may not improve my damage directly, but... Champion's Bracer. Oh, did it? Oh. Now, this is amazing. More cards at the Elite stage? Yes. And just more cars in general. But actually, I think I need to take the next level of Thunder Staff. Because you say, I might not be very strong. Um, projectile speed, projectile lifetime. Mm, this is actually very good. And the more attack speed. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Yes. Oh, projectile lifetime does not improve my damage directly. But what it does, it has my balls stay on the screen longer. Which means it improves my damage. Because, well, if they're, if they're, they're longer, they hit enemies faster. Um, for longer. Means they do more damage. Yes. So, scratch that, it is very direct. And very ballsy. And I need to pick up experience. Uh, dash cooldown, yes. Because whilst I do have a single void upgrade, I don't have the second void upgrade. So, there's that. I, I don't magnetize all the experience. Yet. Hmm, big damage. Or big burn. I think big burn. Look at that burn. Oh, this is so good. And mind you, I don't do a whole lot of damage just yet. And this is not even my final form. One plus one more additional projectile at the cost of defense. Yes, absolutely, take that. This will drastically improve my DPS, and two defense is not exactly much. And though it might actually feel like it is much at the start, by the end, you just have about 30 defense. Two defense is nothing. 
Dev, can I please have more clumsy upgrades? Like this? I want to become a glass cannon, but I want to have a lot of balls. I mean, well, let's be honest, the dev ain't watching me. But do I care? I don't, I enjoy the game. Now, of course, important to pick up all the experience and all the gold before I end the stage, not after. Because after there is nothing to pick. Ah, no, there's so much on the ground. I lose it all. Lily is almost dead. Ah, uh, how did it die? Uh, less projectile size, more projectile speed. Yes, more projectile speed is amazing. Oh, get the money, money. Yes, 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 yes. Soul Gauntlet is useless. And two cards because it was in the lead stage. Yes. Trade off. Uh, I don't like it. Impenetrable. I do like it. Ammo health region. Uh, well, actually, just defense. Plain old defense. You can't really go wrong with it. Pork statue. Could increase his damage. Yes! Um, do I want more defense or do I want more critical? Well, since I have this level 1 already, might as well just take it. And now I will slap the elite even harder. Oh, look at that! The fractal has come to greet us. And by us, I mean me. You see, this will triple. This will break down every single ball of mine into three little balls. And why is that important? You see, while the outer ring may hit hard, the inner ring is a literal blender. Um, less additional projectile. But so much attack speed. This is amazing. Now the blender, oh look at that go, look at that go. As you may see chunks taking out of the elite's health, that's the burn doing its job. And more defense. And also, why would they want an inner ring of balls and not just the big outer ring? You see, an inner ring is actually closer to me, as you can, well, as you can probably notice. And why would that be useful? You see, the moment something passes my outer ring of balls, I can't hit them, but the inner ring can. Which is why this upgrade is the single most important upgrade for the Thunderstaff weapon. And I lose the additional projectile, but I get so much more attack speed. I'll have balls around me for dice, balls for dice. Hmm, have I picked up all the experience? Almost. Elite, two cards, additional projectile, yes. And... Uh, eh? Ooh, base damage, actually useful. And what will you bring to me? Let's see. You bring a kill round. I I'd actually prefer something else, but hey, I'm not complaining. A kill round will give me a bunch of experience and money. And I need the money to make sure I can um, level 8 and level 9 my absolutely busted weapon. And uh, speaking of which, it's not even level 3, I think. What level is it? I I'm actually curious. It's level 2! You see, the madness of your screen is with level 2 weapon. I cannot even imagine how broken it's going to be at level 7, let alone 8 and 9. Hype. Now, of course, hype uh, until I just die to one some random enemy. But on the bright side, I do have much more health this time, so it's unlikely to happen, surely. Absolute foresight, right there. Money! Ooh, castle upgrade. This is powerful. But actually, I'm just gonna take it more impenetrable for passive damage resistance as opposed to having more health. Prosip, if you don't take damage, you don't need more health. Surely, the past me would have seen this as useful. Seeing no health and no defense is a very bad idea. Light show. I'm a base damage, actually. And, uh, well, but there is one, but there's only one path here, so I'm just gonna take. Now, can I actually kill hit the lead with both the inner balls and the outer balls? I think I can. And I love it. Well, Elite doesn't. But who cares about this? It has no feelings. And projectile size. Enlarge my balls. And actually, I almost have enough to give myself a limit break. Level 8. But I don't have a level 7 weapon. Which is very unfortunate. Who thought I would actually get this far? And mind you, I only have this much gold. Because I haven't hit a shop. Aha! It's almost as if if you save money, you'll be able to buy something. 
though you can't actually save money because that's not how money works. At least at the moment. With high interest rates, it, you, you may actually be able to save money. Uh, and a Thunderstaff level 3 actually. Did it not? Did it just double my damage? Now, question here. Do I want to go for the horse? Or do I want an event, an event, and this? I kinda want the horde. This can be something good though. You know what? I'm not gonna go for the horde. I'm not gonna enjoy myself and just kill all the enemies around me. I'm going to go for this. Oh, this was so worth it. I get two cards from this. And, of all things, I actually get powerful cards. Attack speed and dash cooldown. Well, dash cooldown isn't the best, but hey. I'm not complaining. And this? What's this? Oh, it's a fight. Of course it's a fight. Oh, I am powerful. I am very, very powerful. Oh, the god of balls must be pleased with me. And I haven't even maxed up my weapon. Things die. Because they cannot stand being slapped so hard. Experience multiply. Oh, by the way, I haven't had that for this entire time. Oh, no. Well, that's not very good, right? Whee! Oh, yeah, I have picked up the oil upgrade, mind you. Now Americans will invade me. Invade? Invade? Yes. They will, for my oil. I, re I reclaim two of, these two of these things at a time. Which will actually allow me to dash indefinitely. Whee! Actually, um, let it recharge and then we. And... Whee! Hmm, what do I want? I want crit damage. Actually, I have a bunch of crit, but I didn't have any crit damage. Now, I would imagine I may have become very much more powerful yet again. Oh, yes, also, a certain upgrade which will quintuple your crit damage at the cost of something, and then also double your crit damage at the cost of something. And I want them. I want all of those. I get the money, run, get the experience. And what do we have? Boop! I have the crossbow, the useless upgrade, and this. This is very good. And anvil. Um, spear, crossbow, cleaver, car selection. Take it. Thunder stuff. Actually useful. I mean, I can press the reroll and waste all the money, but I don't want to do that. I want to impress the boss with the size of my balls. And the amount of them. I also impress the elites. Oh, look at that. The balls and the burn are working in tandem to impress my enemies with their fortitude. Oh, student, very actually useful, because I will be fighting lots of enemies, lots of elites, and will get experience from the boss as well. So, experience is actually a must here. Dead. Okay, let's look at the health. Oh, actually, not look at the health, run away. This is deadly. Very, 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 very deadly. Oh, while I was dodging his little barrage, he almost burned up. Where's the boss? Where is it? Where are you? Oh, hello. He dead. The burn did him in. Oh, shop prices are reduced by 50%. Wow. Obviously, I want to go for the... I want to go for the shop, actually. But if I go for the shop, I will miss out on some of the chests. Actually, there is another shop right there. Okay, I need to construct my path to encounter as many chests as possible. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I just go for this shop. One, two, three. I can get three chests. And I want to get three chests. Oh, it's just a kill round. Oh, look at that. Look at us. I'm so very afraid. Will enemies even pass through my balls? Or will the heat of my balls rubbing on their faces just do them in? I, I think it's the latter. I don't think they enjoy that. It's definitely not the smell because, well, I shower. Huh? What? Hmm. Power of balls. Now, I'm not seeing a certain issue. I am taking damage. This is very unexpected. But welcome! Hey, I actually need to have... I actually now have to work on something. And I thought balls would carry me through the entire game now. That clearly didn't happen. Oh, but look at the light show. The light show is absolutely amazing. Um, more crit chance. And that crate. Um, which one? Oh, these three, right? Yes. Uh, what's this? Tainted rarity cards are less likely to appear. Very good. Uh, 
Do I want to lose attack speed? I kinda don't. More projectile lifetime. Yes, I may get a lot of damage out of that, but... Ooh, more crazy damage. Double. Less health though. Half. Worth it. Projectile lifetime. Actually worth it. Impenetrable. Projectile size. Thunder stuff. Good lord. How many levels did I get? I got five levels from one single crate. How do levels fit into crates? I don't know. I, I simply don't know. It must be a special crate. I mean, I understand items and whatnot, but levels? Nah. Well, I guess the experience of opening that crate was so life-changing, it changed me f uh, for five levels up. And also, listen carefully. Oh, it fixed itself. I hit enemies with my balls so fast, the sound is bugging out. At this stage, you know how busted you are, because not only are you killing enemies, you have also defeated the game sound. I am morbidly fascinated, and also terrified, as to what more levels into my weapon may bring. And they will do that. Oh, how high of a level is it even? Uh, just for a moment. I have two more levels to go into, it, and then the limit break levels. Patience. Hmm. More crits. But less attack speed. Attack speed is kind of dire. Though I do have a lot of attack speed. This will drastically improve my crit chance. And also, um, some of the cards that, great, that greatly improve your crit damage also nerf your crit chance into the ground. So having this one card is actually quite important. Oh, the blender. Oh, the light show. Oh, look at that. Everything just dies. Yeah, I can't hit something that's beside me. That's rubbing against me. Well, I suppose I'm rubbing them, they're rubbing me. It's 1-1. One, one. Um, I, I need to find some food. I'm actually dying for some reason. Oh, it must be the lack of region. Yes, it is the lack of region. I got, I went balls deep into damage and forgot to take region. At least this time I actually have some health to withstand the rubbing against me of enemies. And mind you, this time enemies cannot withstand me rubbing against them. This is getting weird. Additional projectile cost of damage. Take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I want to survive. Which means I want to find food. Oh, I found some. Actually, get the green mushrooms. They give so much experience. It is absolutely unfair. And broken. And I don't care because I want more of them. Um, Are my balls permanent? I think they're permanent. Hello? They haven't stopped spinning for a little while now. Ever since I got that upgrade. Oh, Actually. I think they're stopping at some stage, but not often. They're up 100% of the time. Almost 100% of the time. Uh, money, money, money. Oh, multi-handed. Yes, plus another projectile. I love it. And that crate. Curse belt. Less max health though. I don't have much. But region. Region is powerful. What is this? Attack speed? Yes, please. And what's this? A fight. A crate. Okay, fight, crate. Elite fight, event, shop. But, but this. But uh, I can't get this then. Is there another shop somewhere? Oh, there's this shop. Okay, there's this crate, this shop, this event, and this crate, and this event, and this shop. I think I'm gonna go this direction, because I have enough for limit break. And if I get enough experience, and, well, get lucky, I might as well also get two levels into my Thunderstab before I... I might as well get one level into my Thunderstab before I reach that shop. I think I unlocked something else there. I double-clicked by accident. Oh, that's not nice. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. Also, notice this. My projectile lifetime is so long that the inner circle takes a little while to appear, while there are multiple outer circles, which means now there are also multiple inner circles to my balls. I have so many balls traveling around me at light speed, cutting my enemies into pieces and setting them afire with friction. Don't forget that. Don't forget the friction. It's physics, science, amazing! Actually, take the mushrooms, don't forget to do that. Take the mushrooms, mushrooms. 
And mind you, kill the mushrooms, don't actually take them, don't eat mushrooms too much. But as you eat the normal mushrooms, the abnormal ones talk to you when you eat them, or rather after you eat them, and they try to guilt trip you into eating more. Don't do that, don't listen to them, they're toxic, literally. Oh yes, all the money, all the money in the world. And what do we have here? Magic Wisp, useless. Light Armor, not useless. I have almost 30% that defense, actually, I want this, and I want the shop. Hello. One round of balls, two rounds of balls, three rounds of balls, and then only then the, the, the inner circle. So basically, I have six rings of balls around me. I am pleased. Oh, the big mushroom circle, take it, take it, take it. Oh, it's for me, it is all for me. Oh, so much experience right there in this one single spot. Yes. Now, the good thing, the normal enemies are absolutely no match for me. The bad thing, the elites are not yet no match for me. Well, they kinda are. Hello. And you're dead? Almost? Hello? Yes, you are. Um, and I'm taking a whole lot of damage from skeletons. I don't have enough defense just yet. Now, will it mean that I'll just, I'm just going to die at the last stage? That may be the case. But I have gone this far, and I don't care. I'm so satisfied with my balls. Well, actually, this can get even stronger. Mind you, I have not found the the cars which drastically improve my critical damage. They're not even there, and I'm this powerful, and I have not even maxed out my weapon. It's not even level 8 or whatever. This is absolutely not even my final form. Um, more movement speed, more defense, actually more defense. Take that. And Relic, let's see. Old coin. More experience, less, go less gold. Actually good! I, at this stage, do have enough gold to buy the two, I think the two, to buy the two uh, limit breaks. But actually I don't, I need about 30, 32, 35. Uh, let's uh, see the coin, and do I get the limit break? I don't. Oh, I totally forgot! It's not level 7! I can get this, reroll it. Oh, what's this? Shop could take more items, catch yourself with better quality. Blood pressure. Mm, heroic soul cards are lucky to appear. I think this may be useful. Useful before taking this. And better shop. I will definitely reroll the shop again. Uh, perfection, much more damage. Actually pleased. And uh, attack speed, yes. And one more reroll. Uh, beef statue. That's not what I want. It really isn't. Recursion though. This is big damage. Yes, double the projectiles! Oh, good lord! Oh, he coming! The balls will be doubled! Yes. And turtle, less movement speed, less attack speed, but so much defense, I don't need to care about enemies. I approve of that, and recursion, yes, and the ring. This is not very really useful at this stage. Uh, just one more reroll. Lightning boots. Recursion, accumulation. Maybe this. Oh, the bookworm. So many levels. This is plus 50% experience from time 69 to times 100. To time, well, time, times 10. Times 10, yes. And more crit chance. Now, this is amazing. Recursion. Accuracy. Yeah, it's, it's only 400. Now, surely at this stage, I'll just make it back to buy me some. Dash charges. I kind of like it. Plus two dash charges. Okay, at this stage, I just need to stop buying and hopefully get enough money to unlock myself the limit break. That's the plan. Limit break. And we're gonna go for the crate. Uh, God's Wrath. Yes. Um, How many levels am I getting at? Two levels. And I have doubled, mind you, I have doubled my um, additional, additional things. Additional balls. Hmm, critical damage, look at that. Now, how quick will you die? Make sure you're kept between the two rings of balls. And you're dead. And you? Oh, you're dead. Can I just stand there? I, I surely can't just stand there. Are you getting hit by my balls? I think you are. Well, you aren't. Oh, well, whatever. And you're dead. And your friend? How about your friend? Oh, look at him. 
He's not taking a whole lot of damage from the bulls themselves. Though they kinda do a lot. He's taking damage from the fire. And there is a lot of fire. And yes. This upgrade is what I wanted all along. Five times the critical damage. But point by the third at crit chance. But my crit chance is high enough to make it still count 10%. 10% of crit chance is a lot of crit chance. And mind you, five times the crit damage. My crit damage is uh, 20 times 20x of my base damage, which is a lot of damage. Oh, this is so good. I only need to crit once. And the special thing about critting, you see, the crit chance itself may be low, however, provided your weapon attacks quickly, the crit chance is still good even if it is low. And mind you, this weapon has six rings of various balls hitting the enemy very, very rapidly. Which means low crit chance doesn't matter. I have become the god of balls and I'm highly pleased with myself. Ta-da! Money, 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 money. Don't want to lose the attack speed at this stash. Now, does it matter? Does the attack speed matter? I do so much more damage if I take this. I am tempted. Ah, plus 50% damage multiplier. You absolutely have to take it. This relic. This and relic. And mind you, I do need to take... Need to find enough gold to give myself the limit break. But before that... I also need to give myself the level 7 weapon, which is something I do not have. I would imagine finishing the game with level 6 weapon, which does an immense amount of damage and just uh, balls to the wall. Goes, oh, plus 250% critical damage. From 22 times damage to 24 times damage. Yes. On crit, mind you. Only on crit. But I crit very often. I mean, with how often I hit enemies with my balls. Well, you can definitely say that this run is all about testicular fortitude. Why did I say it? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, the blending. So much the blending. Aha, yet another bookworm. But, less attack speed, less projectile lifetime. This will be very detrimental, but plus six additional projectiles. This is huge. I'll have so many more balls. Oh, it's dying. It's dying to the balls themselves, not even the fire. Oh. I quite literally have a ring, the neon disc ring around me. Uh, one of those little uh, chemical lights, glow sticks. It does so much damage. It's almost a, an even ring. Like, you don't see the, the individual little balls that, come, that are um, contributing to the ring. It's just the ring of glow. I need more attack speed. I need something that gives me attack speed from this. Magnify crystal. More experience. Kinda good. Bookworm. Even more experience. Kinda good. And how many levels did I get? I, I don't know. Um, Level 1. More damage. Level 2. More damage. Only two levels. Seriously. Um, come at me. Um, actually, don't take me places. I need to gather up the experience. Oh, they're dying. Oh, they're dying so quickly. The enemies don't know what they're doing. Oh, level 7. I'm 27 minutes in. I'm destroying everything. And I've only just maxing out my weapon. Much more projectile speed. Uh, let's see. And mind you, I may even be able to limit break it in the next shop. So this is not even my final form. Not even close. Now the neon glow just destroys things. I just need to stay around. All things just die. Oh, the neon glow is so strong. More region, don't care about region. Need more critical damage. I need to hit enemies much, much harder. I like the little jumps in health is the crits. It's not even the burn, it's the crits. Because I have so much critical damage. Things melt. And then again, if I crit something, they'll also melt from fire because crits 
contribute 50% of damage to burn, and burn is 100% chance because it's maxed out. I'm so powerful, I just walk into things and they die. All oh, the damage multiply is gonna grow. It's gonna grow big, and mind you, I have zero pickup range because I have picked up the bookworm upgrade, which is what gives what is giving me all this experience. Level 73. Hello. Um, not dying is a, it's a good idea, uh, right about now. I may be powerful, but I am definitely not immortal. Hmm, mm, even more damage. Power on my balls increases exponentially. Well, well, not really. It's just plus twenty percent. Um, do I want more damage at the cost of speed? Do I dare? Um. You know what? Crank it. Crank the damage. I don't care if I die at this stage. Horde mode. This is the, the biggest balls to the wall challenge. Ow, 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 ow. Um, um, hello, weapon. Would you mind firing up? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Ah, I have become the blender I always wanted to be. This is so good. This is unbelievably powerful. I have become the blender. I am the lawnmower. I am the mincer of meats. And the meat is my enemies. The enemies have become truly equal. This is an equal society where I'm the blender and everything else is getting blended. Nothing is discriminated. Everybody is equally weak against my balls. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Even more damage. Did you see the elite right there? The elite bird? I didn't. It was on the screen. For too little. This is how powerful I am. Ah, run! Ah, run! Um, I scratched that. I, I, I almost died. Why? I, I have no health. Why? Reasons. Um, I should just get the region, and maybe get a little bit of defense. And it's all. I'm, I'm still alive th only thanks to the total upgrade. Yeah. Even if you're powerful, you shouldn't. Um, underestimate death. It's it's right there, and it's waiting. Um, remember that our confidence is a slow, and insidious killer. In the case of these enemies, a very quick one, and a, qu a quite effective, and a very straightforward too, a run. Oh, I take so much damage. Oh, it's the skeletons, it's the skeletons again. It is always the skeletons that kill me. Oh, I regain the health, or oh, regain, do it, do it, do it. Regain the health, run away. I, I, I need more of this, I need more of this. More damage for the sake of it. Oh, I survived. I somehow survived. Run. I... Um, increase monster amount, reduce monster health. This is actually amazing. I don't have enough money for the limit break. I don't think I do. Do I? I didn't even get the limit break. What's happening? I have a chance void spirit. Is this even useful? It's not really useful. No useless. Reduce bosses and elite health. Hmm. No. Card selection. I'm going to. I'm going balls deep damage. Critical chance. I don't care. I care about nothing. Then the normal cards. Will I even get it? Just reroll shop. Get something. Fire staging. The statue. I have not seen the single card. The single relic that I want. Ever since I got it that one time. And that one time I just died afterwards. I want the, the Midas sword. And I also want to see the damage on the boss with the burn. 10,000% damage. Here I come. All over my enemies. Oh, I see that. Oh, the damage. Oh, look at it. And um, boss, hello. And um, come at me, honey. Like, the moment this recharges, you're toasted. Oh, and the inner circle, oh look at that. I ju I'm just gonna stay here. I'm actually, I'm not gonna stay here. This is lethal. My attack speed is so low 
the, 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 the cooldown is just not there. Oh, fire up the boss. Can I stand here? I mean, the skeletons will just murder me, but hey. You know what? I'm just gonna stand there. If I die, I just die. But something tells me the moment the boss comes out of the ground, it will die to burn. Instantly. I just have it with this weird feeling, and there it went. I didn't even see how much damage it took. That is the power of balls on fire. Thunderstaff, fire spirit. 112 million damage. Big balls, big damage, big fire. Lots of friction. Amazing. Jesus, this is my best run so far. And um, what can I buy? Uh, only two, two grand. Ooh. Can I afford more balls? Can I? I can't. Uh, display normal fight objectives. Damage mitigation. Banish. This could be useful. Another reroll? Mm, I can get another. Actually, I can get another banish. Maybe something else? Well, not really. And that's it.